Hello, sometimes you just want to create some cool hover cards. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this very nice hover card in uh, GreenShift and WordPress. And uh, let's get started, shall we? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop in a green shift row full width. Then inside that row, we're going to pop in a CSS grid also by green shift. I'm going to choose the three containers and then I'm going to remove the last two. So we just got the one. So we just set up the first one first. And in here, I'm going to add in a image advanced block, which is also green shift. And I'm going to pop in an image. Very cool. Then under that image, I'm going to add in another container wrapper block, also green shift. And I'm going to then put in a heading advanced block by green shift. <laughs> you can kind of see there's a bit of a pattern or a bit of a theme going on here. Everything is green shift. <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to name this country. All right, so I'm going to go and start from the top and work my way down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the advanced tab, go down to advanced, and I'm going to add a CSS class called card main into here. So we're going to need that. And come back to general and I'm going to go down to spacing and change it to hidden and I'm going to go to shadow and pop in a nice shadow there. That presets nice. I'm going to go down to the height. I'm going to set the height to be uh, yep, 250 pixels and groovy. I think that's all I need for that. Yes. Okay, moving on to the image. So the image needs a full width of 100% and a height of 100% and a cover for the scale and I'm going to move down to, ah that's right, I've got to put the border radius on the container so this, so yes I'm putting a border radius of 20 on the grid, uh, sorry on the, um, the main container and then the image so there's going to be two and then I'm going to come down to the uh, container wrapper underneath here. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go back to image and I'm going to set the position to absolute. Cool. And I'll just put some zeros in here. I'm not really sure if I need to, but I'll do it anyway. There's no harm. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to the container wrapper and we're going to come down to the, well, I'm going to go flex actually set this to the downward stack column I'm going to center uh, justify that and align the items to the middle you can see that shift across and then i'm going to move down to the size so the width of this is going to be 100 percent and the height of this is going to be you guessed it 100 percent now we've got our country in the middle there and I'm going to zero these out. Yep. And uh, cool. And then I'm going to go and style this heading. So I'm going to change it to white. 50 is the pixel uh, for the font size. Okay, great. Perfect. So this is the, we've now got the basis for this. So now we can go and start adding in the animation so we go back to our image here and we go into our advanced section and we come down to CSS transform and this is where all the magic happens. So I'm going to first um, just zoom the image in just uh, on the default view and then under hover I'm going to change it to uh, just the normal height. Uh, now, if I hover over it, nothing's going to happen. So, remember on this container wrapper here, I put a card main parent um, 
CSS class. So I'm going to go and pop that in right here. And now when we hover over that, it now has the effect of the hover, which is nice. All right. And then I'm going to come to the container wrapper for the header. Um, and I'm going to go and uh, go into the advanced, go to the CSS transform and this is normal so I'm just going to set this to the, I'm going to put the, um, the card main in here as well and then this one is going to scale upwards so when you hover over it, it actually goes up a bit. Then I'm going to just change the uh, duration to 1 in here and maybe ease in and out. And I'll do the same on the image. Go back to the animation, sorry, over here and I'll change this to 1 and I'll do ease in and out. So it just has this nice sort of, you know, effect there. All right, cool. So that's pretty much uh, the basis for our card here. So all we now need to do is just go and duplicate it a couple of times. Then I'm just going to, you know, change the image here. This is going to be city and Okay, to go back to the image and just replace the image or the city icon, the city image I should say. So that's all um, looking pretty cool and I'll update that and go here and there we go. We've got our nice sort of, and you, you, you know, you can change the uh, animation uh, so you can, you know, I've got that set to, you know, like a, sh a slower time period, so I've got set to 1, so maybe if I change it back to like 0 0.7, uh, then that's, you know, a little bit more faster. Um, so it could be a little bit too slow. So you can play around with these settings here like that. So um, Now, just as a, uh, the other thing I was going to do, which I forgot to do is put a container overlay or in the um, background. So I've come to this. So let me just uh, no, I'll just I'll just keep it. It's fine. And then I'll go to the background here and I'll set it to uh, completely dark, but not not completely. I'll just maybe tint it so that it's fairly, fairly sort of dark-ish, I guess. And then on hover, I want it to be completely transparent. So you can see that now that's changing the, uh, it's changing it back to the, uh, the normal image. And then of course I can just copy the style here and go and paste the style. And yeah, there it is paste the style over here as well. Cool. And I'm just, this is the original demo and now I've got the... So again, uh, you know, you can play around with the different animation speeds for these and then you can put a link to them and, uh, and, and all that sort of stuff. And so that's it. That's how easy it is to create this beautiful hover card effect with your GreenShift powered WordPress website. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All the very best.